the electrician. The electrician said, Pastor, I can do it. He'll get his crew. He'll pay his own crew out of his money, out of his bank account. They said, my church needs this building. Then y'all lay the wire. They go get the masons. They got the masons in the church and lay the ceiling. I think I'm saying the masonry. They, they go and get them, and they okay. They go get the lumber. They go, even the farmers. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we ate so much deer meat. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, Jesus! We ate so much deer meat, and we were taught to learn to eat what we had and appreciate. Yeah. They even had elders out there taking care of the cows. I'm a city girl. <laughs> I had to clean the cows. Manure. <laughs> <laughs> met Jesus in the cowboy. Yes, Lord Jesus. What I'm trying to say is that we did all what we had to do. We all lend our strength. I don't care how small it was, how big it was. We all gave. That's something that we have to learn in a multi and in a Racial church, the black white church, yeah. some of we got to learn that Hispanic church, we got to learn that. Yep. We got to learn that all of us got to build. Yeah. We just don't build in one way, we build in all ways. Learn my teaching and learn how to submit came from the assembly of God. That's why I can talk about that. We have to do another thing. We have to put aside color. There is no color in God. Amen. I would not be what I am today if they had not taken me in. Because I could pay them to stay there in their place. They took me in. I had to die to racism. Because I was a powerful people. <laughs> I had to die. <laughs> I was the oldest one in there. I was around witches, warlocks, <laughs> prostitutes. And they said, no man, you got to love the video. If I had a piece of gun, it was three of us in there. You never had nothing of yourself. Yeah. You shared. I learned how to share. Yeah. I learned how to give. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And that's something that we have to learn. That's something that we have to deal with. God is not looking. When he says the redemption, when he says that we are Jews, circumcised in our heart, he took the stigma away of color race, ethnicity. He took it all away. He said, you are in me. We are one. So we cannot allow any hatred to come up. And if it come up, you got to understand it's the purging of the Holy Ghost. Right. So you can look at that day and pass it out. That's right. You can't let prejudice. I'm still fighting with men about women preachers. Uh -huh. <laughs> And nothing in his body, because see what they did was because of the law, Levitical law, mm -hmm. that dictated what women were mm -hmm. during that time. And see, but if they really studied their scriptures, God had a plan for so, yeah. But when Jesus came, Amen. I say when Jesus came. When, when Jesus, Jesus came. came. When Jesus came, all of that changed because this was the last sacrifice. Yeah. And from that, he began to go to the Samaritan woman. Yeah, I know about that. Now, this is deep now. This is deep. Samaritan woman was one of a mixed race. Okay? And for the Jew to talk to a Samaritan woman and even to drink behind him, because right. he said, give me a drink. Okay? That was not coming. Even the disciples, the old, good old disciples, did not know what's wrong with this man. What is he doing? Right, right. But Jesus said, I must go this way. Right. When he said, I must go this way, it was a picture for all people. He said, Abunk Sion, no. No. 
He that God didn't call him, call him to, to be a pastor over one race of people. Multiple people. When you were raised up like he was on the back side of the desert, and let me tell you, he was. He had to did he walk this thing out. He had to walk it out. God had to do a purging and a cleansing of inside of him things that he had been through in life, things that he had seen, the lifestyle. He's a, he had to give him the love of God for all people. He's not ordinary. You're not going to find many of him walking around. Because some people won't allow God to take them on the back end of the desert. Oh my God, come on. And have that relationship with God. He wants you to be able to lend your strength, support what he has called you to support. Amen. Now you say, she can talk and give more scriptures. For those of these scriptures, I'm going to give you some right now. Okay. And I want you to hear with your heart. Hear with your spirit. Psalms, I'm going fast because there's a lot. It says Psalms 27 14. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Some of you were talking about me. I said, wait. Come on. Amen. Some of you wanted to walk out the door because you're just happy. You're satisfied. I said, wait, this is the word of the Lord unto you. I order your steps. I have not called you to move. And you can say, oh, well, you, she's just a friend of his. No, I'm a friend of God. Psalms yeah. yeah. 27 and 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. And who shall I be afraid of? Don't be afraid of that bill. Don't be afraid of that doctor. Don't be afraid of your children. The Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Psalms 18, 32. It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. See, without the strength of God, you can't lend it. Okay? No man put in a piece of a new cloth. No, I don't want to do that one. I'm sorry. Then I have to go through and explain that one. That'll take more time. Let's go Psalms 68 and 28. But write it down anyway. It's Psalms um, 9 and 16. And it's about putting a new, uh, no man put a piece of new cloth into an old garment. Study that. Okay. That's a whole new lesson. <laughs> so I don't, I'm not going to go there. Psalms 68 28. Thy God hath commanded thy strength. Strengthen, O oh God, that which thou hast brought for us. Strengthen, O oh God, what thou hast brought for Rehoboam. Yes. Because we are a community. Yes. Strengthen, O oh God. Yes. Bring it to pass. Yes. As we begin to decree a thing, Lord God, let our eyes be set on you yes. and not on man. Strengthen, O oh God. Yes. Yes. Thy strength. Lord God, it's my substance. That's strength. 